Hi Cancer, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel. And this is your reading for Romance Reading for August 2020. I'm just trying to make more room here. I hope you can see all the cards. Thank you Cyber Angels for um, sharing and liking. Um, I'm just doing them month by month or zodiac by zodiac now. I just take the first three because it takes a lot of time to also sort out who's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. So the first one was Capricorn with seven, uh, 276, and the Pisces was the second one uh, with 96, and Gemini with 86. So if you want to be number one, then keep on hitting that like button and sharing with family and friends and tell them I want to be number one so you'll be the number one uh, zodiac sign that the reading will get done okay now um, if you are new welcome to this channel and please hit the subscribe button uh, on all and then you'll be notified but also to my cyber angels make sure that you are subscribed because uh, YouTube is deleting um, uh, accounts that are not frequently used so make sure that you are subscribed still to your favorite signs uh, not only to me of course I'm just saying this in for your benefit as well and a, a lot of other readers are mentioning this to other viewers as well okay my darlings now this new system has still got baby quirks because we've gone into the new system don't worry um, I do notify you also through Instagram Facebook and the community tab on YouTube so keep, just keep an eye on that just go to Charlie's Angel Tarot on Facebook Instagram or whatever and you'll be notified just keep um, uh, keep an eye out on the on those three um, media channels and also um, the, I will be do, uh, restarting the competition shortly um, on Facebook with a special page but I'll let you know what the page name is okay because I do work, uh, I am going to start working again with Wendy the Dutch Witch and we're going to do a whole new series. I'm really excited about this. This is so, I can't, um, I just don't want to tell you the exciting news but um, I'm not going, I'm not going to pass my mouth by, you know, I'm not going to speak b before I know what's going to happen. Well, I have a good idea. I'm really chuffed and I can't wait it's not so much with witches but it's it does help if you are a witch or a pagan or a vegan okay it's going to be great fun I can't wait but I first want to enjoy the summer and I hope you enjoy the summer too okie dokie now I'm using also the romance uh, deck uh, the Shadowlands and the House of Shadows the Archangel Michael and the Answer of the Angels. Now, like I said, I'm going to redo the competition uh, on Facebook and uh, you can win the Shadowlands, the vice versa, um, and get a or get a 20 minute reading free with me. Okay, so um, what else? There's anything else new? No, I think I've given you all the news. Um, um, it's all repetitive for me, uh, so forgive me for that. Um, the first card that you have, this could be the one cancer. Okay, you might be meeting somebody new or you just met somebody and this could be the one. You've already met this romantic partner you seek. Ooh, so he might be in your circle of friends. If you are hooked up, then well, this doesn't resonate with you, most probably. And if it doesn't, then look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Now, uh, let's have a look. Perhaps I can get more out of this. Perhaps if you are hooked up and you're married or you're living together, you might not have realized that the person that you're living with is the right one for you, that this is the one for you. It's not could be, it is. Otherwise, why would this card come up and 
it might become clear you've got the Queen of Swords. She is looking in the bookcase for more information. Perhaps you just needed more information about your partner. Like the Queen of uh, Swords, she is Libra, uh, but don't exclude Gemini or Aquarius. They search until they have found the solution or the answer. They go straight through, cut straight through to the core. They don't accept BS. They want facts and figures. They want honesty. They want clarity. They want to know who they are with and what they are letting themselves into when they start a relationship. Yes, when an air sign, especially the Gemini, because I am a Gemini, fall in love, they fall in love hook, line and sinker. But we all learn from our mistakes, so we will have to abide our time, or the Gemini uh, Libra will also have to abide their time until they feel they've got all the information they need to advance their relationship. So if you are in re a relationship with a Libra and they are a bit slower, it might be because they've been hurt in the past and it is also partially their own fault because like i said they fall for with and they fall in love hook line and sinker they have done things in haste and now they have to repent in leisure so they have learned from the past and they're taking their time before they feel that they can commit they might be the right one for you um but perhaps they are stagnating and that is something that Libra is known for they're the scales they keep on balancing things in and out so they will take a little bit longer than um, a, a Gemini or an Aquarium because that is that is the negative side procrastination so they need all the information before they take the next step so that can be frustrating for you cancer okay because you're steady and slow and you really want you've already shown them that but perhaps they're not ready perhaps they've been hurt in the past so just have that in mind because your ships are going to come in all right once uh, perhaps you need clarity before y you might take a page out of the Libra's book okay the Queen of Swords um, or the Gemini's book or the Aquarian book um, you might have seen them going through this and you're taking their example you're playing it safe before you commit yourself before you fall for somebody hook line and sinker and if you are hooked up then you have the information now you you can know for certain that your boat is here look you've got the ship it might have been a wobbly ride or trip but you are here your abundance is coming here and the ship is coming in that abundance is here this could be love this could be more even more than that minds coming together because the air signs stand for wisdom communication and that's what need they need intrigue but they also need love and passion somebody that can really nurture them they need that attention and that uh, ca cancer that's where you're good at because you are nurturing you stand for nurturing caring uh, love, passion, sensuality and sexuality you are just right for the air signs you can balance, you are emotions like the ship you can, you go with the balance of the waves and you can teach this to the air sign wow, magic you've got the soulmate, yes you have when your boat comes in you have the soulmate and if this is very new then you might realize this in the second week yes this is your soulmate you feel at home with your soulmate whether it's an air sign or not but if you're not an air if you don't go out with an air sign or if you don't have an air sign this could be a somebody else that has air in their chart 
that could be the moon sign or the rising sign okay don't lose your head about it I know when we fall in love we lose our head and everything else seems to fall away Woohoo! well keep your head on okay keep both feet on the ground stick your head back on so that you can see what's happening in front of you take that leap of faith this is your soulmate it is this could be the one it is the one because it says the second card this is your soulmate and be careful of jealous people be careful though there might be a snake in the grass that could be somebody else might be um, what you call it jealous of you and they want to ruin your relationship or if you are getting married then be careful of the snake in the grass the small print in the contract or if you're making prenuptial agreements okay now you can see a little person sitting on a bench looking in a book I hope you can so you need more information but with the seeker you can't you don't know everything so you have to take time like the Queen of Swords she's looking in uh, the bookcase this is depicting to me you need more information before you say yes to getting uh, married or doing something uh, that is permanent or with uh, and permanent for a long term you would want something that is durable and for long term not just for long term you want the content content of it you see it like a book right you want to know the content of the book not just the cover so open that book get that information talk it through seek advice and help with, if it's re with regard to buying a house or getting married seek get guidance perhaps from a spiritual person like a priest okay make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take so yes get a guide if you need advice get a guide show your affection show your true love show that you are that you want this okay and if you are hooked up and it is a bit of a stalemate you know it is your soulmate so make the effort to show that you love them you might feel out of whack but they could feel out of whack too so open up open up and join them make something do something excited it's exciting let them know they're not left out okay this could be you but it could also be the other person because this is a romance reading seek advice what did I just say seek advice don't lose your head about it and especially when you see the snake the lily means good luck good luck in business so it is business because marriage is like a job and you need sometimes advice from a mature person this could be from a sorry about that this could be from a mature person a man this could be an advocate this could be a doctor this could be a lawyer okay so get it right get the information be creative you've got a three you've got seven there luck Wow again three three so the angels are giving you a sign okay don't worry we are here we will support you if it is somebody from the past I don't know whether it was the, no it was not in this reading it was in the in um, Taurus let go of your past somebody might be no it is this one this one it was this one some they might be unsure so that uh, Libra so wigging and weighing okay procrastinating tell them to let go of their past okay cancer tell them I know it's not easy the time has come to let go of the past to clear your energy as well to so you should tell them that and if not get advice and though those people will tell your Libra that as well if it isn't you you can't let something in if you don't let the past go you can only learn from the past you can only change the present in the future and again again you've got the three of ones the boats are coming in 
abundance is coming in it's just like the ship in the Lenaman your plans are coming to fruition and you've got the house so perhaps you are buying a house or you are going to live together that is if you are hooked up but you're living separately because you've just been going out now you might be getting engaged or just got engaged and you're thinking of moving in together or buying a house big plans takes also advice it might throw both both of you off track but with the five of pentacles the angels and the divine have your back if you believe in it or not there's always there's so much between heaven and earth just ask and thou shall receive okay leadership show the way yes show the way in your relationship um, show the way that there are people that could advise you to let the past go you just have to let the past go it's not easy definitely not it's very hard very difficult it is frustrating it is sad you can be angry or they can be angry if it isn't you in this case this is a, a Libra that I'm talking about but it could be anybody but it is very difficult to work through hurt mistrust or abuse mental or physical right learn from the past like if you've got this new partner and he it does feel that he or she is your soulmate because they are nurturing caring they understand you because you are uh, loving passionate nurturing and caring and perhaps they have learned that passion it does not last but love is and they want something secure as well then work it through together this is how you show each other that you are there for each other take the leadership tell them how you've experienced it if you've experienced it and if not go to a life coach they have life experience and they can definitely help you show the way Archangel Michael calls upon you to take on a leadership role your love and light will show others the way forward yes but don't be somebody's backbone just take the action because you've got the red card show them how you got through it okay and not by jumping in uh, to the fire from the uh, fry from the frying pan into the fire don't go on the rebound show that you didn't go on the rebound and that you worked through you seek information on how to better yourself or advance yourself and make yourself free from old sadness this is such a good reading you can learn so much from it even if it isn't even if you haven't got a partner you can learn something in general from it the opportunity will come the opportunity will come if you have not met your soulmate yet if you are too scared and you're holding yourself back from moving on then perhaps you need to get to go to a life coach and work away that old sadness and emotional pain to be able to release your ex then your boats can come in get out of your comfort zone okay don't hide your way don't shut yourself away in a house in your own little shell come out of your shell and let the so let the other one see that they are yours and you are theirs wow I hope you have enjoyed this reading cancer take care and God bless stay safe and be well please share and like see you in the life or in the next video Bye-bye. Enjoy the summer.